Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am sat on the floor right now. <laughs> got no makeup on, got my comfies on, a fake tan the rest of my body but not my face because I broke out crazy. So I'm gonna go through all my makeup today. I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff, hopefully. I wanted to do this for ages because I've had this, um, these Ikea dra like drawers for ages, but I, d I just feel like, basically I feel the pressure to have a lot of makeup because I do YouTube, because I'm a makeup artist. You're supposed to have a lot of makeup, but then it's just like the products that I don't want, don't want to use, don't like, or well, if I don't like it, I've been it straight away, but um, products I don't like anymore or I don't use, I just feel like I need to bin it now. Um, so that's what we're going to do today, so I'll go straight into it. Let's go through this. So I have all my concealers on this side, foundations, primers, foundations. I'm just going to empty them out and then we're going to see what we're going to keep, because I feel like if not, it's going to take too long. So, I think I'm going to keep these two, just because if I'm doing a full face of um, Primark makeup, I'm going to keep those two, but they are probably a maybe, so my maybe pile will be here. I'm definitely keeping these two, definitely keep that. I think I'm going to bin this because I don't even bloody use it. Um, concealer's next. C5. Um, I'm going to bin this because I need a new one, so I'm going to repurchase that. Um... These concealers here, these concealers are really nice. I don't know why I've stopped using them. Yeah, that one's way too pale for me. Isn't it? Yeah, that's way too pale, so I have to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this one. This is a maybe. That's a maybe. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Revolution Fast Base Concealer, just because it is definitely out or it's sell by a date. So we're getting rid of that. Um, C6. I don't know if this is, the, this is the right colour for me right now. I don't think there's any left though. I don't know what to do with that. That's a maybe because someone told me you can take the um, little thing off here and it'll come out of loads. Yeah, that's probably empty. I'm going to keep that. That is in C8. That's the Conceal and Define Concealer. I didn't like this when it first came out, but I've grown to love it. This one. I think I'll have to use this concealer again. These are all Maybelline concealers. Number five, that will be way, way, way too light for me. Um, number 15 should be fine, but I think it's out of date, you know. We'll keep 10. 15's maybe. 20 we're getting rid of because I don't even use that concealer anymore and I'm probably not going to use it again. Um, and then I've got these two Primark ones. I don't know if I like these or not, you know, guys. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping it. So that's a maybe. Oh, yeah, that's way too light. These are samples of Fenty Beauty foundations. So I'm going to keep those. Foundation stick by Primark. I think I've got another one of these. Yeah, I've got a L'Oreal one. I want to see the difference in colour. That is orange, so I'm not even going to keep that. That's definitely, we're getting rid of that because that one's so much nicer. So I'm keeping that. I'll get rid of the number threes, keep the number two. I feel like I don't even bloody use these, you know, guys. These were supposed to be like, people use them as eye bases and stuff, but I have never bloody used them. You've got your infallible foundation stick. Maybe. I'm not too shy. I haven't used that in ages, though. Definitely will keep these for my kit. I didn't use these for ages on myself, to be honest with you guys. But I'll keep those for my kit because they literally just squirt them out. They're massive bottles as well, not the little mini version. So I'm definitely keeping those. Um, I'm definitely keeping this. I love that concealer. Um, I feel like I want to keep this. I'll keep it as a maybe though. I'm getting rid of this because I don't even use it. It's a Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I just didn't agree with it. I feel like it was like very meh. Like I didn't really love it and I didn't hate it. Then I've got sand and I've got golden beige. Sand is so pink on me. But I don't know I don't know where to put it in my kit or what, but I'm definitely keeping those two because of my favourite foundation. Vanilla I'm keeping, but I'll probably put it in my kit. I'm gonna keep this definitely. This I don't know about this. I keep forgetting what they are like. I feel like I like the foundation, but I don't know. No, I'm not keeping that. I'll sell it or something. Who knows? Put it back to Mac or something. Um, foundation stick as well. I loved this foundation stick. Well, literally, there's hardly nothing left, and I haven't used it in a while. And I don't think I will use it in a while because I think it's still a bit too light for me. So that's a no. I'm keeping this as Studio Fit foundation. Look at how much less stuff I have. I 
Okay, this is going to be a long video, isn't it? Powders. So, so in here I have blushes, powders, and bronzers and highlighters. To say I don't like to look matte, that is a lot of powders. Um, so we've got your highlighters over here, your face powders, um, ooh, blushes, bronzers. Right, so blushes we'll go through first, that's the easiest thing. I have never, I've used this once or twice, it's a no from me. Life's a peach blush, I'm going to keep because I absolutely love that. Um, Sun Basque is one of my favourite MAC ones, so I'm definitely keeping that. No question about it. And then that Nars Orgasm yeah definitely there's not a lot of blushes i could go for really bronzers Too faced i'm definitely keeping that that's a yes from me caramel one i like to contour with hula when i'm a little bit pale i like to contour with so i'm keeping that as well dark golden i'm running out of and then dark tan really nice skin finish by mac love them to death so i'm keeping those a really good um bronzer from primark ps bronze queen matte bronzer in the color sunset it is an absolute beautiful bronzer. It's a little bit more of a cool tone bronzer though. I don't know if you can see. It's like not too cool tone, but it's just nice and olivey toned. That, that's how I would describe it. Um, the Lottie London bronzer. I'm getting rid of that because I don't even bloody use it. And I, can, I feel like I want to get rid of this because I don't use it, but I'm not sure. So that can be a maybe. Highlighters. I feel like I don't use this. <gasps> that is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god, maybe. Oh darling, by MAC. Oh my god, the, you know what? Highlighters are gonna be the hardest thing ever. Fenty Beauty, Trophy Wife, that's not even in a question. I'm definitely keeping that. I'm definitely keeping this one as well, L'Oreal um, Rose Quartz. Literally the, the best drugstore highlighter. It's such a beautiful colour. Becca Champagne Pop. I've never actually used this one, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this one. Um, I might put it in my kit for for like bridal makeup. I am not too sure, so that's a maybe. We've got this Primark one. It was a Christmas collection from last year. It's a really nice pale highlighter, but it's got that golden undertone still. I'm running out of space. So I'm definitely going to keep that. I cannot say no to highlighters at all. And then we've got another Primark one. This is... Oh, this is my body highlight. This is called Gold Digger Highlight. It is literally the beautifulest highlight ever for your body i don't know if you can see that on camera but oh my god it's such a nice bronzy color keeping that i need a new one of this because that is disgusting so i'm going to get rid of that and then oh that's beautiful so i'm keeping that i've just like i like a lot of powders guys and um, then we got revolution pro powder in f6 now i, I feel like this is too pale for me have a look. I'm not too sure. That can be a maybe. Now you've got your Studio Fix powders in NC42 and NC30. They're a definite yes. Now I'm going to get rid of them. Then I've got my Waterway powder by MAC in Light Plus, which is like dead almost. And then Medium for when I'm tanned. Definitely going to keep those two. Fit Me, Maybelline, Matte and Paulus. I love to use this on a night out to take with me, so that's a yes. And then I've got, I'm, I'm stuck in between these three here, guys. This is what I've got. I've got the Rimmel Insta Matte Fix and Matte Translucent Stay Matte Powder in Translucent, even though it's not like a white colour. And then I've got the Fit Me Translucent Powder. I'm going to keep the Maybelline Fit Me one just because the Rimmel one, I mainly bought it just because the hashtag was on it and stuff, but this one's a lot creamier feeling. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things about this one. So I'm going to keep this one. And I'm also going to keep this one like just for nights out and stuff like that. And then I can get rid of this one. In this we have all my face palettes, eyeshadow palettes, that kind of thing. I have got my Stacey Extra Large Carnival palette in my kit at the moment though. I need to buy another one for myself. I've also got this little thing on my um, vanity. So I've got the Jeffree Star Blue Blood, the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson palette, the Androgyny palette, and the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm keeping all those, so I'll just put them to one side. These are all my palettes that I have, so let's try to go through these. So first we've got all the Makeup Revolution £4 ones. Now I think definitely I'm keeping this one. This is the Soft Glam Dupe. Love that to death. Um, and I want to, I kind of want to keep this one because 
It is a dupe for the subculture palette. So I kind of want to keep that one. I don't want to get rid of any of these because I feel like they're good for like YouTube videos. That one's a full, full matte one. That one's, I, I used that one on holiday. That's the last time I used it, I think, as well. It's a nice full matte palette. So I kind of want to keep that one as well. And this was the first, very, very first one that I bought. Um, so a lot of nice colours in again. So yeah, I'll keep all those. I'll put them to the side. I'm not sure about this palette because I haven't used it in ages. I love so, but that's a maybe. So I'm going to put this over here, maybe. I'm going to keep this one. It's just like a little travel palette I put together of Anastasia eyeshadows. These ones have got to be maybes. These are on my, my Makeup Geek, um, MAC eyeshadows, mainly Makeup Geek though. I haven't touched these in ages. So I'm like, what's the point in keeping them if I ain't touched them in ages? You know what I mean, guys? I'm not sure about those. They're a maybe. And then I've got two highlight palettes from Sleek. I'm going to get rid of these because I haven't used them in ages. It's just how it is. If you don't use stuff, you might as well just get rid of it. So that's yes, maybe, and no. So this is the Marc Jacobs Bronzer, Omega Bronzer, Tantastic. This is beautiful. It smells like... Um, smells like coconut. It's too light for me at the moment, but I'm gonna put it in my makeup kit, so that's a yes, because it's really nice on a paler skin. I'm definitely gonna keep this. Um, a makeup artist gave me this in a one-to-one. -one. She's like, I've got another one, you can have it if you want. I was like, oh my God, thank you. So I'm definitely gonna keep this because it was a gift and it's very sentimental. Then I've got this new palette that I haven't actually, I haven't actually like tried this yet right from the um, event that I went to in Manchester, the Be Perfect one. So I don't know if you want me to try this in a video, the master palette or not. I'm not too sure. It's a really nice little palette to have though. I am definitely keeping this. This is a beautiful palette. I might keep this for my bridal makeup though, for my makeup kit. I'm definitely keeping that though. So for Times I Make It Illusion palette, these did so well in my videos. I'm gonna keep these for my YouTube videos, so that's a definite yes. Then I've got a blush palette by Morphe. Again, I didn't put it in the other drawer because it's like a palette kind of thing. Those colours are, I love that one, as you can tell. The Sigma Warm Neutral Volume 2. Beautiful colours again. They blend amazingly. I love these two colours. You can see I've dipped into them a lot more. Um, so that's the major, I'm not too sure about that. This is just a travel palette again, a bigger tra travel palette by Anastasia. Got my Anastasia shadows in here, except for like one missing. So I like to keep this palette because it's just nice to travel with, just in case I want a couple of colours. I've got this Carnival palette, Be Perfect, it's the first one. I haven't touched this since the new one came out, so I'm not too sure what to do with this. Because I literally haven't touched it since, so I might put it in my makeup kit. So what I've got in this drawer is all my eye pigments, eye glitters, eyebrow stuff, eyeliners. This is the most products I own, eye products. I love eyeshadow. As you can see, I'm a bit obsessed. Um, I don't really know where to start. Lashes. So, I bought these called Easy Lash, the number two style, um, at Primark. They're really good for like bottom lashes. Like, you can see what I mean. Like, because I wanted the Mitchell ones again, but I thought, oh, I want something a little bit chunkier. So, I thought, oh, I'll just buy these. So, I've got my TL Mitchells, TL Mitchell 2. A new pair of TL Mitchells, some more lashes from Goaty Lash, um, some primer lash ones I'm never going to fucking use, <laughs> some dupe ones for MAC 35 lash, um, primer lash, wink lash, this is in a random one. Let's go on to pigments because I know what pigments I'm going to keep. So I've got all the P. Louise pigments here and I'm definitely keeping every single one of them because they are the most beautiful pigments ever. Um, so I've got peaches and cream ones here as well. This is wow. Definitely use that again, so I'm keeping that. And then I want to definitely keep um, the Cinder Cinderfella Mademoiselle, um, and then the Fangulus. I'm keeping those. I'm trying to think. Right, so I've got these two Inglot pigments, and I haven't really used them to be honest with you. So they're definitely a maybe. 
that one's 22 and 35 so they're definitely mavis i've got some urban decay glitter liners i don't think i use these enough to keep them um, i'm gonna keep these three and then i'm gonna get rid of the colored ones because i feel like with these you can put glitter on top of them um with these ones i feel like i never use them i got some more peaches and cream pigments but i don't really use these ones um these are the space um space ones or whatever they were called i love the purple i'm gonna keep the purple one definitely that one is pretty as well but it's like colors i literally wouldn't even pick up Pretty, but I'm not even sure about it because I've not used it to this date so I'm like well what's the point in keeping it if I'm not going to bloody use it there could be a maybe this is the dazzle shadow liquid in the colour beam time that is beautiful I always use that mascara I'm definitely keeping false slash maximizer I use that in my brows I'm always keeping that I think I'm going to get rid of these these are the lot in London eyeshadow type of things I just think they look pretty but they're not very useful I, i'm not going to use them so i'm getting rid of those i'm getting rid of the primark one as well eyeliners as well i think these are like really dry that one's dead this is the primark version of false slash maximizer so i'm going to keep that for a video and i've got this rimmel ink me liner that's a maybe glitter junkie metallic body dust from primark um it's actually such a lovely color like a, such a nice bronzy color so I'm going to put that in my kit, I think. Because I never use it on myself, so I'm going to put that in my kit. Then I've got all my MAC glitters. So all the white ones with Sheen's to and I'm keeping. So Reflex Gold, Reflex Pearl, Reflex Teal and Reflex Pink. They are all beautiful, so I'm keeping all of those. These are probably like Christmassy like vibes. Love them. And I've got these two, which I never really use. I'm keeping that because it's Christmas vibes. Um, and this one. So I think these are all maybes because I'm not even going to bloody use them. I've got another pig pigment from Inglot. Again, maybe because I haven't even used it. Because I haven't used it in ages. I only bought it because it was hype. Oh, what is this? These are the pigments that I bought last year from Primark. I haven't actually used them that much. Oh, that is beaut though. Can you see that? Can you see that? There. That is a highlighter. I've got some glitter from Crayola. Oh my god, not cray Crayolon. I don't know about that. That's a maybe. I've got this from Kat Von D. It's just a eyeshadow. Put my kit, why not? Oh, I got this. <gasps> I remember this. This is a Primark loose pigment, but I used it as a highlighter. Oh. I need to use that as a highlighter again. Look at that. <gasps> keeping that i might put in my highlight drawer though that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in my highlighter drawer because then i'll actually use it as a highlighter and i've got some samples from mac just some glitter ones i've got all these but i don't know if i'm gonna keep them or not because i don't really use them anymore i really love the blue though blue liner is the one but i'm gonna maybe but i want the blue one definitely and then we've got this rimmel eyeliner glitter liner i just don't like that kind of glitter but i'll put it in a maybe Dipped down by Anastasia, maybe. I've got these eyeshadow toppers that I've never bloody used either, so I might just put them in my kit. I've actually never bloody used it. I don't think they're like that pigmented though, you can't even bloody see it. But I'll put them in my kit and see if I use them. And if I don't, they are going in the bin. Moon is blue, which is absolutely amazing, but I've never used it. Like, look at that. Look how beautiful that blue is. It's like a sapphire blue. Eyelash curlers. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Love that. Some eye pencils. Two black ones. One's feline that's really smoky. One's smaller that's more smoked out. You can blow it out. Got a white one. I got a cream one. Definitely keeping all those. Primark brow pencil. MAC brow pencil. But I'm not even sure about this. That's going to go in a maybe because I'm not too sure about that. Oh, Maybelline eyebrow pencil i feel like this is um the wrong color for me that is just too chocolatey hmm that's a no got this which i use for freckles so i'm gonna keep that for freckles and then i've got this little kat von d eyeliner which has run out so i'm getting rid of that
Then we've got the bottom last straw. It's all lip, lip liners, lipsticks, all that. Again, a lot of lip products. We'll start off with lip liners. Um, oh my god, that's so tiny. Look at that little strip down. I still want to keep it though. I like that one as well. It's the Rimmel one. Um, we've got Spiffy by Morphe, Bold the Bear. I don't know if I like Bold the Bear or not. Do I like Bold the Bear? We don't like her. Mahogany from NYX. No, I don't like that colour either. I think I've got a really dark one from Primark. No. Nope. Got Chicory. Yeah, I like that one because it goes with a Burgundy by NYX, which is like a vampy colour. Um, I'm going to keep that one. What is this one? <gasps> I like that colour. I don't know, it's a, it's a Primark one, but it's a really nice brown. Oh, I don't know if I like that or not. But I'll keep that. Any browns, I'm like, oh, I like that. I like the other brown better, I think. And then we've got this pinky one. Oh, I like that. I don't like spice. Oh, I like that one. That's a nice like purpley colour. Another Primark one. That's a nice summer colour. I could keep that because it's a nice summer colour. Morphe Sweet Tea. Oh yes. I like Sweet Tea. And then Bite Me is ridiculously dark. And then we've got this one from Melchior which is beautiful. And which one's this? Brown. That's a really nice name isn't it? Brown. Got Cork by Mac. Yep definitely. I've got this one, it's a burgundy one from MAC, but it's like a red burgundy so I'm going to keep that one because that's nice. Um, and then I've got this pink one. That's not that. See, Bowler Bear is such a horrible colour so I'm like, why can't I make more pinks like this? I don't know if I like that were pink now. Oh, I like both pinks. They're nice colours. I'm never keeping that, that's a nice one. Half red's a nice colour as well. Yeah, definitely keeping that. What is this? Oh, I like that colour. These are just Primark ones. That's a ridiculous purple one, but I like that for like a crazy look. I've got a strip drown, which I fucking broke. Look at that. Then we're going to go on to lip toppers. Right, lip toppers. I do not use these at all, so I'm going to give these away. Because I like a lip gloss, I don't like a lip topper. And I've got all these lip glosses. They're probably expired, so I'm going to get rid of those as Anastasia ones. I've got these two liquid lips from Kat Von D, and I swear to God, these... Oh, that was beautiful, though. I'm going to keep these two, because I feel like I need to do more bold lips. Oh, this one's beautiful. Bow and arrow. I need to use them more, so I'm going to keep those two. I got this one from Lime Crime, which is like a tangerine colour for a fun look but I've never bloody used it. We'll see we're gonna use that. Um this is the matte lipstick by Primark in the colour Naked. Um butter gloss, yeah. And then we've got Burnt Spice from MAC. I don't think I like that anymore, you know. They're maybe so I'm not even sure about those. MAC lip glosses, yeah. I'm definitely keeping all of those because they're beautiful. And then I've got these ones from Soap and Glow that I never use, so there we go. I've got this one from Primark, which is look how beautiful that colour is. And I've got a liquid lip from Sigma that I never bloody used. A clear glass that looks disgusting, which I, which I love. <laughs> and then I've got Makeup Revolution lipstick that I love. A lip balm. I'm not even going to look at all my matte lipsticks because I know I'm definitely going to use all of those at one point. And then I've got these here. So I've got these just for eyeliners and stuff. So like really fun colours and stuff. So I'm going to put that, those in my eye drawer. And then I've got these colours here. So again, these would be like eyeliners. And then these are just my normal ones. I bought this for an eyeliner as well. Um, and then I've just got Androgyny, Doll Parts, and then Slabby Skin. Doll Parts I don't think I like. At all, I think it's like, oh no, I have to bin that. That's grim. That is literally like done. Yeah, androgen is the same. Oh my god, is celebrity skin all right then? Yes, yeah, celebrity skin is fine, I think. Yeah, she's still okay, thank god. And then we've got this one. Yeah, that's fine as well. Good. 
Okay guys, so, hi, it's my face. Why you see my face? Because I deleted the clip by accident, the last clip, when I was filming another YouTube video, so, sorry guys. But this is the end of the video, yeah, so I gave a lot of the stuff um, to my friend and see what she wanted kind of thing, and then I, I, I binned the rest. The maybe pearl I either binned or put for sale kind of thing, if it's like quite expensive. So yeah, I've got a lot less makeup now. I'm very, very happy because I feel like I will buy makeup products now to try it out. Let me know what drugstore or high-end products you want me to try in the comments below and then I will check those out. Obviously, I'm only going to buy it if it's my kind of thing anyway because like I said, I wanted to buy the Milani bronzer, the baked bronzer. I wanted to try the Hourglass bronzer. I wanted to try... NARS foundation. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this declutter kind of video, binning stuff kind of video, getting rid of old makeup video. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Give it a like if you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, guys. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye. Sorry that I'm bad at YouTube. <laughs> I didn't mean to delete the clip. It just happened. I didn't mean to.